to you. Um, what makes this film special? And what is your reason to support it? Well, I bet everybody who watched this trailer felt that lump rise up their throat when the girl asks, why don't you tell us? In this age and time when it is getting impossible to find out what is true and what is a lie, we're living in an age called the post-truth age. Fake news is a reality. The responsibilities of brave, audacious, honest filmmakers to go there on the ground, pluck out stories from the hearts of the people who live there, and then, with great responsibility, with great dedication, give expression to what is playing out in your backyard. The child asks, why don't you tell us? Isn't this what we all are asking? Why don't you tell us? How do we run our lives when you don't have one single source through which you will get what is anything close to the truth? Storytellers, filmmakers have been the torchlights. They have been the source of inspiration. They have instilled hope. They have shown the direction to a lost society. Recently, we all saw what happened in Christchurch. 49 people were massacred. And it was a crafted for social media event. The internet was a platform. Everybody in every part of the world prostrated before that unit which came into their homes and started distributing it. Terrible times. And then it's a tragedy that a film like No Father in Kashmir, a filmmaker who puts his film together has to run from pillar to post beg people to get it through what are we trying to what are we trying to do what are we in this age and time is there any anything called censorship what is this picture saying it is saying i have the audacity to look at the truth the greatest epic which mankind has been blessed with the mahabharat came from the battle of kurukshetra in that moment of darkness, he who locks the eyes with the darkness discovers a light which Ashwin has discovered in this movie. And I think that light is very important to reach the people. So it is this that makes me stand here, applaud this filmmaker and say, India is safe as long as filmmakers like this are alive. The humankind is safe as long as filmmakers like him are alive. Otherwise, we belong to the dream factory. We are going to numb your mind with senseless entertainment and say, God is in heaven and all is well with the world. 